Yeah, I feel like it should go. <laughs> this is Forest Fall, take one. Rolling. Rolling. Hi, I'm Gabe. I'm Lucy. I'm John. And I'm Sean. And we're Forest Falls. First and foremost, you know, started off uh, working with one of the great producers who helped produce uh, our EP that we're working with, um, and uh, his name is Wayne Connolly, and and that kind of pr- made the foundations for everything. And then um, once we did that, we we kind of took on, uh, well, went through numerous amounts of bands and things like that, and and um, from then we kind of nulled it down and culled it down. Sorry, not nulled it, and um, and found some pretty brilliant acts that we thought you know were best suited to that environment and decided to do a residency at the workers club and from there you know each week just grew and grew and we were really surprised it was it was really yeah really rewarding it's always a pleasure to play with bands you admire and also discover you know some beautiful talents that you hadn't heard of before and that was kind of the case for us we and i think it's a theme that runs throughout the band too is that we love collaboration and we love getting together with I mean it's how this band was born is just the coming together of people with um, similar yet different ideas but ideas that mesh together and I think that really came to the fore in our shows as well. We don't take it lightheartedly at all like ten thousand dollars is a lot of money Um, and for that to be you know 100 percent you know, raised by people that see potential in what we do as well is like really rewarding and it, and it kind of created a driving force both like, you know, both in, in the mindset of, you know, we now have investors, I guess, so to speak. And also, you know, you don't want to let them down um, and and you want to try your best because that's, that's the connection that happened. Like, you know, they saw something in us that they really liked and connected with and and were willing to you know make a trade so you know it was just just such a humbling experience to be a part of you know for years all musicians will know that you slave away sometimes it's awesome sometimes it's really really hard and you question why you're even doing it but um to to work through that and then to get to a point where you're sharing something that you really believe in with um, a broader audience who also identifies with your little piece of art is really amazing it's really it's a really special point to get to so I think this last tour really showed us that we do have a lot of support our last show was nearly sold out at the workers club um, and it was it was such a good vibe we were really really pleased with it like well, when we're writing a song for sure like um you know cuz uh, well, I guess there's there's two things like I mean like I've l- we've got the luxury of you know um recording our our stuff and then kind of having a clear direction in saying that though you know there are some certain songs that you know you kind of create on the fly and sometimes you know having six people in in a room you know, that's six different ways that that idea can be interpreted. We'll we'll try all the different possibilities and then it kind of becomes clear which one, you know, works and doesn't work. St Kilda Fest was such a great experience. I mean, that was one of the, well, that is the only festival that we've done actually. And um, yeah, I've got nothing but great words to say about it the great crowd sound was amazing and yeah it was just an awesome experience it was it's really cool because we like tailoring our music to suit venues and to suit contexts and i think we're a very um our music is flexible and unique in that way because we can we can do that we we really enjoy taking on the vibe of place and creating our own vibe and our own show and I think that really that was a great context for it that particular day I think the weather sculpted to what we were doing because yeah. um, you know it kind of started off a bit gray and we started off with a few of the mellower songs and then you know by the time we were ready to pick it up so was the weather and out came the sun and yeah the crowd were loving it so it was great and It was all quite vague to start with and, and even, you know, towards the end, like, 
there's no right or wrong way to look at the clip. Um, and so many people have said different things, whether it be like, oh, you know, that couple's done for or like, no, nah, they're, they're, they're rekindling things and whatever else. So it was really cute that everyone could kind of take away their own little moral or whatever. Um, so yeah, it went really well. And they, they tied in the, the Sky Lantern sort of motif, which was wicked. And um, we had a few days uh, playing around with the film crew and, and we got these sky lanterns they're not all CGI'd some of them we actually lit off and were terrified about them you know cascading into like someone's house and <laughs> setting someone on fire. fire yeah so we were lucky that no one was hurt during the filming of it um, but yeah it was a really great experience and yeah, we stoked with the result it's a pretty versatile um, sort of release we've got yeah, like Hounds is a lot more upbeat than, say, Fool or, or Ghost, which is, um, I think, some of the songs are really kind of cinematic and, um, and quite epic, whereas what we've released is more of a poppy number. Mm. Um, so I think, yeah, we've sort of just, I don't know, dipped our finger in a whole bunch of different... Yeah. Like, we haven't committed to anything, we haven't really... Yeah. For me, this EP, I'm super proud of it because it's, um, it's an entire piece. It's got... It's ebbs and flows and it's it's bits of this and it's bits of that. And as a whole, it's something that's really cohesive. Wayne Connolly was a massive um, help in making everything really cohesive. Like, yeah, there's, you know, kind of some different styles in there in terms of, you know, we've got some upbeat stuff. We've got some you know, really bass-driven stuff, which is like, for example, Hounds has got that really, like, you know, groovy bass line. And then we've got some more, like, slower, uh, more epic, Things like Ghost as well, which I guess are more uh, emotional and, and all of that stuff, I think, like Wayne Connolly's really helped to you know, tie it together and, and in a nice little neat package, which is the Hounds EP. Part of the plan would be playing more festivals and bigger shows and just things like that. For the moment, I think we're just planning on sitting down and writing some more stuff. We've got another song we'll probably release off this EP and then after that try and you know work on some new stuff have an ep by the end of the year